what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to talk about how to create really nice looking charts and graphs for your swift ui app so here's what we're going to be putting together we have this really cool gradient line chart we have a vertical bar chart as well as a horizontal bar chart i'll talk about the legend here the different colors uh, we of course have this looking really nice in dark mode and light mode with our titles we have a background color, all that good stuff, basically everything you would need to put beautiful charts in your app. So if that all sounds good, make sure you start by destroying the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider hitting subscribe for daily iOS and Swift videos. That all said and out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at how to bring in charts to your Swift UI app. Quick pause before the video. This video is brought to you by iosacademy.io. If you're interested in building some of the top apps from around the world, like YouTube, Instagram, Uber, and Facebook, head on over to iosacademy.io and toss in your email in the waitlist form here to be notified as content becomes available. Content includes interview prep, free courses, premium content, how to build TikTok, Messenger, Instagram, and anything else you can think of in between. That said, let's get into the video. All right, we're gonna get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're gonna stick with the app template under the iOS tab here. And let's go ahead and give our project a name of Cool Swift UI Charts. Make sure your language of course is Swift and both your interface and lifecycle here are Swift UI. Go ahead and continue, save the project wherever you'd like. We'll toss it onto our desktop. And the first thing we're gonna do here is expand our Xcode window, hit resume in our canvas over here to load up the preview. I also closed that right panel since we won't need it. And let me go ahead and also bump up the font size here so we can all see it nice and large. All right, cool. So the actual first thing we wanna do is bring in the Swift package, which allows us to uh, create these really cool looking charts. So I'm on GitHub here. I'll include this link down below, but we're just going to copy the GitHub URL here. And this package is actually made by uh, this guy named Majid, who has this really cool Swift blog that he runs also with a bunch of articles. But anyways, we'll come back to Xcode here and we are going to go to file uh, Swift packages and we're going to say add package dependency. You can go ahead and paste in that GitHub URL. It'll resolve the latest version. We'll stick with that. Go ahead and continue and let it do its thing. It should take no more than, I don't know, 10 seconds. Mine was fairly quick and it'll bring in the package like so. Now, once you've brought it in, go ahead and hit command V to just compile, make sure everything's still working. If your preview closes like mine did, you can hit this drop down at the top right and uh, open up the canvas again and your preview will be back. And now all we have to do is actually use the package and create some really awesome charts. So the first thing we're gonna do in here is import the package, which is called Swift UI Charts. And in our view, we are going to create a navigation view. And inside of this, I am going to create a scroll view, which is gonna have a vertical stack. We're gonna go ahead on the scroll view, give it a navigation, uh, title and I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, charts and graphs just like that and let's see let's hit try again over here uh, in our preview so it gives us our live updates because those are pretty cool close my antivirus pop-up that loves to make an appearance and now we'll actually create our charts so there are two concepts uh, in creating any type of chart with this package uh, the first one is a legend and the second one is uh, an array of data points. So the legend, as you would expect in a graph, would be the legend, and the data points is the actual data you want to plot. And the three charts that we're going to go over, uh, which are uh, two kinds of bar charts and a particular kind of line chart, um, those all use uh, these two fundamental concepts. So let's go ahead and create them. Pretty simple, but we'll go ahead and kind of get a little more complicated as we go on. So. Uh, let's say our graph represents uh, fans of, you know, different types of iPhones. So we'll go ahead and say iPhone uh, 10 is a legend and a legend gets created with a color and a label. And we're going to go ahead and say this is 
uh, a blue color and the label is going to be text and i'm just going to go ahead and say this is iphone 10. and now what we can go ahead and do is create an array of uh, data points i'll go ahead and call it points and it's going to be a array of uh, data point models and let's go ahead and create that array here and basically each data point if you just hit the dot you'll get the initializer has a value uh, label and a legend so the value is going to be a double i'm just going to make up numbers so we'll say two uh, the value here for the label will be a string and the legend will be the legend that we created up above so we'll say iphone 10. Let me go ahead and close this left panel here so we have a little more coding room. And what I'll go ahead and do is I am going to copy and paste this a number of times so we can get some different uh, data going on in here. And we'll go ahead and change up these numbers just to you know, have some different values here. We'll say seven, one, and let's say 12. And let me respectively update each of these. We'll say 12 and one, seven. And of course, in your actual example, uh, if you use this in your app, you would have legitimate data coming back from an API or wherever you're getting it from. So now that we have both a legend and points, we can actually put these into the respective views. So the first one we're going to do is a line chart view. And you can go ahead and create this with data points, which is our points, uh, just like that. And if you take a look here, we now have a really cool looking line chart. Um, now, let's go ahead and stylize this a little bit, just so we have uh, a little better looking uh, chart here. So I'm going to add uh, a little bit of padding on this guy, just like that, so we're not touching the edges of the screen. And right now, you'll see that everything is blue. We're going to expand uh, the you know, different kinds of legends we use here in a moment, but that's how you create a line chart view, and it's extremely simple. Now, the one other thing I'm going to do is we're going to wrap this inside of a section and that way we can supply a uh, section header. So the header is going to be a text and we'll give that a value in a moment. And then we can just drop in the chart in here, just like that. And let's see, we'll go ahead and call this uh, line chart like so. And over here, we now have a nice title for our line chart. So let's go ahead and do this for the two kinds of bar charts that are available, which is uh, horizontal and vertical. So this one, uh, we'll just type it out again and not be lazy. Uh, let's do a, a normal bar chart first. So we're just gonna create a bar chart view. Now this gets created once again with points. You can also specify a limit for the limit of uh, points you wanna render, but we're gonna exclude that for the time being. We'll go ahead and call this guy bar charts and you'll see it has updated. Now these bars aren't really, uh, you can't really stylize them. They're kind of rounded, which I, I think is fine, but I think I saw on the repository, there's another PR that's coming that will uh, add that functionality to further customize it. And the last one we're gonna do is horizontal bar chart. And just like the one up above, we're gonna now say horizontal bar chart. And let's go ahead and pass in our points, just like that. And you'll now see a horizontal bar chart like so. And let's go ahead and add padding uh, as a modifier to both of these. So we get a nice looking chart just like that. And that's it. That's how you can bring in charts into your app. Now let's go ahead and add some more legends. So it's a little nicer. So we're going to go ahead and create some more legends here. Let's do a couple of them. So we're going to say iPhone 10, iPhone 11, 12. We'll go ahead and say uh, 8 five and let's say 3g that's been a long time since we've seen the iphone 3g but why not uh, let's go ahead and change up the labels here so this one is going to be uh, 11 this one right below it will be the 12 this one is going to be the eight and we have the five and the 3g five and the 3g and the main thing um, that you know you can get with the different legends is the separation uh, by color visually so we're going to say pink uh, green, we'll say orange, we'll also say yellow. Now I think I added too many, but we'll see what it looks like. And we'll say finally purple. And we see we added these legends that have not used them yet. We now basically need to use them in our actual data points. So here we'll say 11, uh, 12, we'll keep that as 10. This one, I guess we'll go with eight. This one will be uh, 3G. 
And this one will be, which one did I miss? I think we missed the five. Let's go ahead and do five. And you see it uh, updated in real time and it's starting to look much more appropriate now. So our line chart, um, it actually uses this gradient out of the box, which I kind of don't like actually, but it's very subjective, but you have your you know, legend down here. Same thing for your bar chart. Um, you, know, you can see the different, uh, different bars on the respective colors here. And finally, same thing for your horizontal bar chart down at the bottom. If we just scroll down a little bit, you'll see it uh, just like that. And what we can actually also do is change up the height of each of these. So let's say we wanted them to be, let's say one third the height of the screen. We can go ahead and just specify the height is, uh, let's say UI screen main bounds size dot height over three. It's kind of cheating a little bit, but now we have that much larger in height at least. Let's go ahead and also apply that to these others like that looking much better. And the other thing that I like to do, if we go ahead and put this into dark mode, you'll see that the background color matches the uh, vertical stack behind it. Uh, but what you could do actually, which uh, is very, once again, subjective, if you want to do it, is you can specify a uh, background color on the uh, either chart itself or the section. So if we supply, let's say a background color on this guy, and we say color, and this is a secondary system background, this first one right here, you'll see that you get like a nice looking background uh, on the chart itself. Now, one thing that you might wanna go ahead and do is first apply padding and then your background. So uh, it's not touching the edges of the actual chart itself. Um, and I think that's, that's starting to look a lot better, but, but yeah, there you have it. That's how you can bring in uh, really cool looking charts into your app. Once again, the framework, the Swift package is called Swift UI Charts. Definitely go and take a look at it here on the repo. Um, there's you know, extensions and things coming, but really awesome library here to use, easy to drop in and use. Um, and yeah, that's all I've got for you guys. If you haven't hit the like button already, make sure to do so for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're into iOS and Swift, Swift UI videos. I post daily here. And of course, leave any comments if you have any questions, concerns, feedback, video ideas, if you just want to say hi, I love hearing from you guys. And I reply to every single comment uh, within a few days. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.